What does it mean to have faith? Shannon Bream explores that in her newest book, Through the Beautiful Lens of Mothers and Daughters. There are certainly truths all throughout the book that I think will be encouraging to people. The Mothers and Daughters of the Bible Speak follows up on the success of her last book, The Women of the Bible Speak, a number one New York Times bestseller. So talk a little bit about that and, and then also what led you to write this new book. You know, I think that there was a real hunger and thirst, especially during the pandemic, which is when the first book was written in the real early days when there was so much we didn't know. People felt isolated. They were fearful. Many of them were out of their churches and kind of at home. And I think it was one of those books that it was just full of encouragement and inspiration. And that's this one too. If you think about finances and family and infertility and all of these different things that women faced, um, they just really translated. So we knew there were still a lot of strong female stories in the Bible that hadn't been told or needed to be elaborated on. So we said, all right, let's plunge into these mother-daughter relationships. One not so easy task, choosing who to include. I think sometimes there are easy, obvious ones like Mary, the mother of Jesus, and in the Old Testament telling of Esther. I think that there are some characters that just jump out at you that have had um, really big impact. Their stories have been known over time, even for people who don't really know the Bible, they have some interest or some knowledge of their stories. And then others, I think I try, I try to choose ones that really resonate with me. Some of these are really small stories where we don't even have the name of the woman involved, but maybe there was a miracle or we really saw God's work in their lives when they were desperate and needed him to show up. Among her favorites. You know, I, I have a little place in my heart for all of them. I think they're all special and beautiful. I love the initial story that we have of Jochebed and Miriam, who are the mother of Moses and the sister of Moses, because we have not just one, but two strong, brave women in this story. And I love how we see them work together as mother and daughter too. Moses and Miriam, both critical in the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt to the promised land none of which would have been possible without Jacobed's bravery to float her son down the river. One theme throughout the book is the intimate connection between faith and family. And so many of these stories, too, are people who may not be related by blood, but they become chosen or found family, which I think is all of us coming into the body of Christ, being adopted in, and I love the picture of that. Think Naomi and Ruth, the mother and daughter-in-law duo. As Shannon points to her own mother as inspiration. I was really blessed to grow up with a mom who was a bit of a baby Christian um, when I was little too. And we almost kind of grew together in that she is the best example I know in my life of somebody who's truly Christ-like. I mean, hands and feet showing up, not just saying, I'll pray for you and forgetting about it five minutes later. I mean, she's on her knees before the sun comes up praying for people. If you're on her list, it's actually happening. She's the first one to show up when you have a tragedy, if you need a casserole, if you've had a baby, if you're in the hospital. I mean, my mom is the very living embodiment of what we should be, I think, as Christians, respecting other people, whether we agree or disagree with them politically or any other way. I mean, seeing them as God's creation and somebody who is worthy of his, his love and his mercy, the grace he's extended to us, and then we then um, you know, model that and give that to other people in our lives. So I've always had a really strong example in my mom. And I'm always telling her when I grow up one day, I want to be more like you. Um, really, she's reflecting Christ, um, but I'd love to be more like her as well. If there's one message she hopes readers take away from this book. I hope it's encouragement. I really hope that will draw them to God to see that he is for you in your family squabbles, in your high moments, in your low moments, um, when you've made bad decisions or good decisions. I mean, he is always present in your life. We see that in these women thousands of years ago. And we know it's true today that we can see the evidence of that. So know that um, he came to save, not to condemn, but to give you his overwhelming love, his salvation. And he's just waiting for you to come to him. And the book also includes study questions for each chapter, making it a great study of sorts to do with family and friends. In Washington, Jenna Browder, CBS.